Today I decided to be toxic waste, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I did achieve this color um, with the wig and everything like that. Super, super easy, you guys. I did the watercolor method and it was so simple. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button before you go. Anyway, if you guys wanna see me turn into toxic waste, then you already know what to do. Keep on watching and until next time, bye! So to begin with the wig, you guys, we're going to do the watercolor method and you're going to need like a bin of some sort or a pot or anything that you can fill up with water. You're also going to need the dye. I'm going to use the Adore Electric Lime and also the Kiss Lime Light. So for the hair, I'm going to be using Wiggins hair. I use three bundles and a front tool. I will leave all of the links down in the description box. And this is their 613 Brazilian Body Wave hair and it is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. You see how shiny and just so beautiful this hair is? This is what the front tool came like when I received it. It was pre-plucked, which I really, really like. And I love the hairline on this front tool so much. It did have baby hairs, as you guys can see. So it was so easy to work with. So to begin with the watercolor, I'm going to take limelight first. And I am going to add a few drops of dye into hot water. Not boiling water. You can use boiling water, but I mean, damn, that shit is pretty hot. So I just used regular hot water from the faucet sink. So I just found this little scooper thing that... I got at the party store when I did Autumn's party um, and yeah I just mixed up the dye and you do not need that much water you guys so as you guys can see I'm going to the sink to empty out some of the water um, I actually emptied out a little bit more water than this so I don't know why I thought you needed so much water but you do not need that much water you guys so once you got it to the color that you want you want to go ahead and start adding in the bundles now this was my very first time trying out this method you guys so I really did not know what to expect when I put my very first bundle in, which is the longest bundle, I noticed that when I was dipping it in, it was coming out yellow, like bright yellow, like it was not really green. The limelight from the Kiss hair um, hair color, it is a like neon green, you guys, but it has like a very neon yellow undertone. So if you want your hair to be neon, then I I would suggest for you to get the Kiss hair dye. But if you just want more of like a lime green, then just get the Adore one. I wanted that yellow undertone, so that's why I got both. But as you guys can see, I'm adding more dye to the water because it was pulling more yellow. So now I'm just mixing a little bit of the limelight and now you're gonna see I'm gonna add in some of the Adore just to darken it up even more. Because like I said, since this was my first time, I was a little shy with the dye and I didn't really put enough. So the second time around, I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually putting more dye. So you want your water to look darker than what you want your hair to be. So keep that in mind. If the water is dark, you know that your hair is gonna be really nicely saturated. So now you can see my second time around with the second bundle, I was like a little bit more experienced at it. I wasn't as shy with the dye. And this time around, I did put in the roots first of, of the bundles because I noticed that the roots weren't as, um, like wasn't as dark as the ends were coming out. So you just wanna, you know, pay attention to the hair and see how it's pulling color. So with me putting in the roots first with this um, Wiggins Hair Company, I noticed that I got a very even application. So yeah. This neon hair had my camera bugging out, you guys. Like it kinda adds like this weird film to the hair that makes it look fake. <laughs> But that's just because the light is super bright, you guys, so it doesn't really know how to pick up the color. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you can see the color beautifully. So anyway, you just want to keep adding dye, um, keep darkening up the water, keep dipping, it, dipping in your bundles, you guys. And literally with you dipping it just a few times, it is going to turn right before your eyes. Like, this is freaking magic, you guys. Like, do you not know how long I would have been here painting 
this onto this blonde hair. I would have been here for hours. And with this method, I colored the whole entire hair, you guys, within 20 minutes. Oh, and another thing right now, I'm doing the front two and it did not stain my lace. I was so scared, but it did not stain the lace. All of my bundles came out so even in color, you guys. I was so happy with the outcome. This color is gorgeous, by far my favorite wig. With snap of the fingers, the wig is made, you guys. I decided to cut that part out because y'all already know it's repetitive and y'all already seen me make wigs. So for this style, I wanted to do it pin straight, so I'm just going to straighten her. Um, I'm gonna call her Electra, okay? I wanna name this wig Electra because she's just so electric. Um, yeah, you guys, so I'm gonna straighten her really quickly and then style her, and then I'll be right back to show you guys my makeup. So jumping into the makeup, I'm gonna take this Carity 24 Matte Shadow. I've been loving this palette for all Halloween, you guys. And I'm gonna take that matte black and I'm gonna just do a very pretty black out smoky eye. A little bit different from the last one that I did. Um, I was trying to do this as quick as possible, you guys. So I'm just working that back and forth into the crease. And then I am just gonna take the flat side of this fluffy brush and then pack the black onto my lid. Just to add a fun little vibe, I'm gonna take this dark green and I'm gonna blend this into the black smoky eye just so that way it's like fading out to like this forest green. Um, yeah, this just adds something to our black smoky eye so it ain't all plain Jane, you know? And now I'm gonna take this Urban Decay Electric Palette and this neon yellow, you guys, and I'm gonna pop this onto my inner corner. This freaking color just made the whole eye look pop. Like, this whole eye look right now is just serving me. You guys know green is my favorite color. So I'm here for it. So now I'm gonna begin to make the drippity drips or the slime on the face, however you wanna call it. And all you're gonna do is just draw a squiggly line from one side of your face to the other side. And have a wipey on deck just in case you fuck up. I'm doing this with an eyeliner pencil first cause I do not wanna commit with no damn liner right now. So I wanna have something that I can easily erase just in case. So I'm gonna fill in my forehead and I'm also gonna fill in the bottom portion of my face with some foundation. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. I always use this foundation, especially when it's for crazy looks like this, just cause it's mad easy to apply and just cause I like it. <laughs> and it's full coverage, it's bomb. Also this brush came so clutch, it's actually like in a teardrop shape. It's from Sephora and it just went into the drips or the cracks and crevices so perfectly, it was lit. Anyway, I just set my face with powder and I'm gonna finish up on the eye makeup. I'm just gonna drag a little bit of black and also that dark green onto my lower lash line. And then we're gonna begin to start filling in the um, slime area or the toxic, I don't know, I'm just gonna say slime. So I'm gonna take the Take Me To Brazil palette and I'm gonna take this neon green and I'm taking this on a big fluffy brush. You guys, this is a Morphe blending brush. And I'm gonna begin just to start filling in the whole entire piece basically with neon green. Um, when it came to the outer corners of my eye, I just faded it up because I didn't really want it to go onto my forehead. By the way, you guys, this look was inspired by this girl that I seen on Instagram. I was looking up slime inspired makeup and I came across this picture of this girl. Um, I don't really know how to say her name because she's like from UK or something. Um, so I will leave it in the description box if you guys want to check out the inspiration for this photo. But her work, you guys, is a bomb, okay? And another girl did it. I think her name was Victoria Jane. So yes, I will leave all of their looks down in the description box because they killed this look as well. Now I'm taking more of that dark green, you guys, and I'm just gonna add some contrast to the drips. I also took a lighter um, yellowy green and added some highlights, just so that way it's not one plain green. Oh my God, if you guys could hear my birds, they're going off right now. Like, what the fuck? But anyway, now I'm just gonna take black gel liner and I'm just going to really now commit, okay? Now I'm just gonna darken up all of the drips. Okay, let's talk about this part. So I did do a sneak peek on this photo and I know you're probably like, whoa, Leslie, this is not the look that you had in the photo. So I wanted to give you guys an option. I was gonna edit this part out because it did not make the cut, but I thought that I wanted to do kind of like a skull bottom portion. And I don't know, I really, really liked it and not that it did not come out good. I just felt like it was just way too much for this look. It was just 
so much going on, especially like with the wig and everything like that. So I kind of felt like the mouth was more or less like competing with the whole neon. So I decided to erase it, but I wanted to leave this footage in just in case you guys want to take inspiration from this and do like a skull version of this. I really liked it the way that the skull came out, but I just noticed that all of my looks this Halloween have been more like on the creepy, scary side. So I wanted to really do a look that was more like, you know, like some sexy shit, you know, not necessarily scary. So yeah, you guys, I'm so sorry to break it to you, but I had to cut out the skull mouth. Eh, it just wasn't doing it for me. It was just a little bit too much, but she was cute though. She was real cute. So after I had my moment for about five minutes, should I erase it, should I erase it? I finally just fucking did it and just erased it. And I started with a blank canvas. So for this one, I just decided now to just do a very bold black lip. Oh my God, my birds. I bet you winter is messing with the birds and that's why they're going in. But anyway, I just filled in my lips with black gel liner cause I do not have a black lipstick. And then I just decided to outline um, like tiny little pieces of the lips with white liquid liner just to add like a highlighted effect. I also did add white two little dots underneath my eyes and I did a toxic little sign that I did off camera. Sorry, I didn't film it. But yeah, I put that on my forehead and now I'm just going to pop on the neon wig, you guys. And this wig to me just completely made the whole entire look like it was just so lit anyway so for the outfit i did just put on this lace bodysuit and i added these lace gloves that i got from the party store and this you guys was the completed look for our slime girl toxic waist look i hope you guys did enjoy this video and yeah thank you all for watching and until next time bye